Did I move? Am I okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to start with two shots? Please, and then uh, push on it. Okay, we're rolling. Go. Let's get a couple things out of the way here. People are always talking about this and that in Nashville about Madonna. They've always heard you want to do a country record or a country album. Really? Mm -hmm. They said Madonna wants to do a country album. Is that true or false? Well, I don't think I ever said it, but it's sort of intriguing just because it would be so different than what I've done. You know, popular music right now, the country stuff is really some of the hottest stuff selling the most cars, Brooks, but I'm sorry. Absolutely. Uh, what is your thinking about country music? Are you into it at all? Um, I have to say, I haven't listened to it a lot. My brother-in-law is a musician, and he loves country western, so if I ever hear it, it's because I go over to their house. But um, I'm sort of getting into it because it is, as you say, getting played on the radio a lot now, so... You know, a lot of lady singers have looked back and said, wow, I sure like the way Patsy Cline sang. And oh, she's awesome. People like that. I didn't know if you had any heroes, you know, of lady singers that sang. Yeah, Patsy Cline. I, I adore her. She's incredible. I love Katie Lang. I mean, I don't know if that she's considered... She still is. She's a great country. singer. Yeah. Because uh, some of this stuff, I was reading the Grammy nominations. Did you ever pay much attention to that, the award game? Did you ever play that, really? No, I mean, I never get nominated, so it's kind of hard to play when you don't get nominated. <laughs> I guess I'm, you know, critic. There's two things. There's popularity with people, mm -hmm. which obviously you make an A plus in that because mm -hmm. your your record sales and popularity speak for themselves. And then you have your so-called peers that are always very strange about what they. I mean, John Wayne never won an Oscar, to my knowledge. I think he did toward he died. And yeah. People like Bob Hope, those kind of people. Popular people never win awards, really. Yeah. Well, I guess that makes me feel good. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, I'm not alone. You look at it, and, and they never have. What is your uh, position on listening to your own music, though? I mean, is it something that's pleasurable for you? When I'm writing it and when I'm working on it and just when I'm finished it, finished with it, I'm, I'm really excited about it and into hearing it over and over again. But now, now I don't want to hear it. <laughs> now I'm sick of it. Now, how about your uh, visual work, either video or film? It's the same thing. It's like a couple of times I can deal with it, but then after that I start getting extremely critical and going, oh, I should have done that different, no, I should have done that different, and it's not, it's not good. It's not productive. Is it interesting for you to sit with an audience, like you can in a film, uh -huh. and hear how they react or what they're doing or maybe watch their face to see what you're doing? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's the only way you can really tell. It's a lot easier than sitting in the screening room by yourself and seeing it, you know, or watching it with the cast and crew. The, you know, they all worked on it. There's no surprises. Your fellow actors, uh, Joe Mantegna, uh, Willem Dafoe, they all have good things to say about you and your work ethic mm -hmm. as an actress. Uh, they say you try very hard, you leave any baggage that you bring with you as far as popularity and everything else at the door. Mm -hmm. So I guess you uh, you certainly try to do that. Yeah. And you take it seriously? What Because you want to be a, a, a you know serious actress? I take everything I do seriously. I mean, I take my music career just as seriously. Um, but I don't think, I mean, when you say leave your baggage at the door, uh, I don't think being a celebrity has anything to do with being an artist. And if you want to be an artist, then that can't really come into the picture. But I think people, and I get defensive for you on this, because I've, I've always, I've purchased your albums over the years. Mm -hmm. I like what you've done as an actress. Mm -hmm. I thought your videos showed a lot of potential even early. Mm -hmm. they, want, they watch you more critically than they do anybody else on the screen. They're looking for you to do anything. It's like they're almost waiting for you to trip. Yeah. Maybe they're not. Maybe that's my impression, no, but I kind of feel that way. I think that's pretty close to the truth. Yeah. But you don't, and you surprise them every time, whoever they are. Yeah. Well, even when I don't, they say I do, so, you know. I, I can't, I really can't think about the critics. And I uh, had the pleasure of, uh, why, it was a strange evening. It was a club called Helena's in Los Angeles. Oh. I danced with you. I told she didn't know it, but I was dancing next to you one night. You had some little guy there who was in some of your videos. Felix. He was with you oh dancing. Oh, my God. That was and, so And uh, I was next to you with a date, and we were the only ones on the dance floor, and I thought that was a big deal to say I was dancing with Madonna. But, you know, you, you were kind of just being yourself. No one cared, you know, around you that night. And you seem like you're a fun-loving, have-a-great-time kind of girl. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm sure I was at the time. I love, Why I, not now? <laughs> no, I mean, I love to go out dancing, and Helena's, uh, the great thing about Helena's, I mean, it's not open anymore, but there's a lot of people from Hollywood that went there, so you could kind of go there, and just the fact that you're a celebrity wasn't yeah, a Neil big Stein deal. Neil was there that night, uh, one of the L.A. Raiders. It was a real eclectic crowd there. Yeah, everyone sort of ignores you. It's perfect. Actors yeah. always ignore each other when they're in the same room, so. How is your privacy these days? How do you get it? I, I go into my room and close the door. <laughs> Yeah. 
you lurk around? You ever do you do the sunglass thing? <coughs> no, not at all. You just go out and. I go out. Somebody follows me, they follow me. Camera doesn't get too far from you, girl. I mean, they're taking your picture <laughs> while you're jogging. I mean, I, you know. I know. But that's. I guess that's part of the deal, huh? Where are we going to see you ten years from now? You think? I mean, what are we going to be talking about? Music, movies, Hell if I retirement. Know. Uh, no, I mean, hopefully all of the above. Hopefully. I can't predict the future. I'm sure I'll be doing something creative. Are you going to write a children's book? That is, who told you that? I have. You're watching the monitors No, I'm not. There. I just heard that. Because they were talking about that. I said, Jay Leno would have a fun time with that. I, I'm sure everyone will have a fun time, but then... But it doesn't mean you can't do it. I mean, of course you can. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. I know. <laughs> and we've learned that, haven't we? <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you. Enjoyed you in this movie. Thank you. Thank you.